sensational. Who are you? R. Kelly. Getting that Nora Ward, Snoop Dogg rolling the blunt on your show. Oh, yeah. In record time. 30 seconds or less. Now I got to put it in the microwave for 11 seconds so I can trap all the ingredients. until we're done so you got to make it good so pick the next two questions you're gonna do come up with them so pick your two best shots because we're not gonna sit here and, and, and jack off all day how about we just throw the man you can put this in my ball cart for a second how about I put this in yours I'll put a whole bunch on the table and you can pick the one you like can be like multiple choice sir Henry how about that okay okay here's the here's the remaining question for Henry Rollins um, a fan gave you the master tapes for Iggy Pop's raw Power. That, I seem, is pretty bizarre. Which Thin Lizzy song do you like better? Running Back or more than, you know, why would you like Running Back more in Southbound? Um, in Punk Planet, you always talk about um, how, like, you lived in a shed, but, you know, Greg Jinn says it is the study. I was kind of curious about that. We're curious about your SOA demos, if there's going to be released. I was also curi curious about the best way to bulk up because the salad bars have now been, like, shut down in a lot of places because of the E. coli poisoning. And I was also wondering um, if you ever worked out with Rocky Erickson is all. And I'm also wondering what new tattoos you've got, Henry, and I'm also wondering if you get bigger, if it's a possibility that you'll be able to get more tattoos actually on your body. So those are the questions that are up there against Henry Rollins, because you say I only have one question, and maybe you can perhaps pick the ones that you enjoy most, or I could recite them again to you, Henry Rollins, here in Vancouver, BC, Canada. Well, you know, I think you got a lot of energy, and the fact that you you put all that together, i got to respect the effort. And I, it's power bar for you, too. No, no thanks. Okay. But um, I respect uh, that you put in all the time, so I'll, I'll try and address some of it. There's a song out there right now by a punk band called the Nomads, called the Suharto Stomp. Earlier today as well at UBC, there were an incredible number of protesters. Do you think, Mr. Kretchen, if you were, say, 40 years younger, that you too would be writing punk songs and protesting against APEC? But for me, uh, in a democracy, people protest. I have, I, I've been protested a few times in my lifetime, and with a lot of people at times. That's democracy. I did that myself, too, when I was a student. And uh, now I'm no more a student. And I, but I accept the fact that people will protest, and we had organized an area where they could express their views. And, uh, but at the same time, we had to run the meeting properly. Do you think, though, that mace equals freedom? Some of the protesters were maced. What do you say? Some of the protesters were maced. Does mace equal freedom? Would you, would you have been maced yourself back then, Prime Minister Kretchen? But, but I don't know what you mean by that. A mace, pepper spray, some other members of the Oh, but of I don't know. This technique did not exist in those days. <laughs> For me, Pepper, I put it on my plate. And you are, Travis Scott. Travis, I was curious, speaking about pants here, how do you keep your pants up when you're performing? It's incredible. Belt. I like Red Fox. This dope, where you get this from? A flea market. A friend found it at a flea market for $8. Can I have it? Or can I buy it? Uh, I How think... I 16 I'm not sure if I she got... 24 I'm not sure. 32. I'm not sure. $40, man. I'm Let's not sure, it, actually. $40, sell it, man. I gotta die. Well, I'm taking it. No, it's no, please don't. My friend will kill me for that. Let's see what else. Who can appreciate this right here? Abso, Dub C in the Mad Circle, West Side Connection. Come on, it's Dub C. A lot of people, you know, what's crazy about Dub C is, you know, he been doing this before you heard the West Side. So obviously, you know, West Side Connection, but. Stu's legendary as well. Thanks so much for this knowledge of Compton Records. It's amazing. It gave me more knowledge than I even, you know, ever knew. I never knew about this right here. I ain't never seen this. Back in the summer, drive you around? Yeah, to all the sites. Like, check on the back here. Oh, get out of here. Are you serious? You LA Hood Tours. You'll get your ass shot rolling around with people you don't know. <laughs> you better I hope you made this up and don't be trying to plan on getting no, it. No, this is real. You got Rock on here. <laughs> There you go, Jerry Rock on there. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
please explain what's going on. Please introduce who you have right here again. This this is right here is J Rock right here. <laughs> He's from his projects, Nickerson Garden Projects. Uh, I guess this is a place that people want to see when they come to LA, and you know, uh, this dude, you know, is on the forefront for it. <laughs> you know what I mean? So you meet him in the flesh right now. G Rock, did you know that you're in this hood tour at all? Nah, I ain't no shit about this right here, man. Uh, this dude, man, he's just crazy. Apparently, the game's dad is involved with us. He does some of the tours. I don't know nothing about it. <laughs> I. What are some of the sites if somebody wants to check them out? What would they be visiting? It says childhood homes, movies. What would they be checking out? Oh, man. I, I don't know what they'd be checking out trying to go through these parts right here, man. You know what I mean? Watchtowers on there. Oh, yeah. That's, hey. that's where you from. Yeah, yeah. They, I see the towers. Yeah, they, 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 got, they got Watts on there. They got sure. Watts on there. I'm quite sure they could probably go say the Compton Swap Meet. Um, everything else is around that just bullet holes, unless yeah. you want to go see that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I have to ask J Rock for a second. Me being from Canada, are you familiar with the other J Rock from the Trailer Park Boys? You know that rapper, the J Rock from the Trailer Park Boys? No, I ain't never heard of him, man. Like a Canadian TV series is a white guy, J Rock. No, nah, no, nah, I ain't never heard of him, man. Something to check up on. Maybe when we take you on a hood tour of Halifax, you can check that out. Hard. And winding up here with Kendrick Lamar, Kendrick, food for less. Food for less. Food for less, yeah. You been winning. What you been winning over there? You got the, you talked about the Louisiana, you got food for less. This is the area. This is where I grew up at, you know, and I what my what my cereal? Oh, we left my cereal. Well, fruity pebbles, that's my favorite cereal. And I just get all my fruity pebbles from there. Sometimes we couldn't afford to buy it, so I had to take some of that fruity pebbles and eat it. Cause it was good. Do you know a guy called Cannon? Day. You heard that? Cannon? Oh shit. That's Please explain. Yeah, that's crazy. This dude said cannon. Wow. That's crazy. Cannon. That's one of the dudes I started rapping with. My dude Antonio. Yeah. Wow. That's eighth grade. That's seventh grade. How's he doing now? He's killing right now. He's doing his thing right now. He on to come up. That's crazy, though. Family. Big Daddy. Got another gift for you, Kendrick Lamar. Have it right here. The Big Daddy. Kane. Big Daddy Kane. What can you tell the people Big Daddy Kane? East Coast. East Coast. This is one of my pop's favorite artists right here. Do you know what I'm saying? My pop's from Chicago. He actually, you know, it's crazy. When I was coming home, you know, they say when I was in the car seat coming from the hospital, my pop's was playing this really loud. And my mom's was like, turn that shit down. He was like, no. Let them hear it. This is music, and it's good music. 15 stories like Average Joe. You got like 15 stories? Good stuff, yep. Can you tell us one of those? We got 15. Um, 15. Um, let's, let's go to 13. Hmm. Walking from home. Police pull up on the side of you. Hey, you look like so-and-so. I'm not so-and-so. You are so-and-so. Get in the car. Let's take this ride. Get out the car. You're not so-and-so. We don't need you anymore. That's one of the stories. Compton, California. Compton, California for you. Now, that might make you kind of hungry. What about Louisiana chicken? <laughs> that's the, yeah, Louisiana chicken. That's the neighborhood, yeah. That's my, that's my favorite, yeah. And there's like bulletproof glass? Yeah. 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 What do you order there? I ordered the number three. It's a three-piece with the fries and the lemonade. And Kenneth Lamar, there's also Tams and Rite Aid, too. The Rite Aid. Definitely grew up in Tams and Rite Aid. This dude right here is really doing his research, though. This is crazy. Yeah, Tams and Rite Aid. I get the chili cheese fries. Thanks so much, TEDx. You stand up. Thanks so much, TEDx. Keep on rocking. And the fr keep on rocking in the free world, TEDx. And do do the loot do. I'm going to put it at the Rite Aid. Rite Aid, I just get a bunch of milk for my little brother and stuff like that. The Compton Compilation. Where you get this from? The Compton Compilation. This is from about 19, about, the, about NWA time. Yes. Have you ever seen this before? I know a few of these cats, MC8. I've never seen this before. I didn't even know this existed. Oh, yeah. Who do you know on there? Who can you see? I see MC8, for sure. 
and the white guy as well from Compton's Most Wanted. Because if you turn the record over right here, what do we have underneath? Oh, Compton's Most Wanted. That's right. Let me see. And the white guy. The white guy. Who is that? The white guy from Compton's Most Wanted. I never knew there was a white guy in Compton's Most Wanted. This is crazy. And underneath... This, this is... Can I have this? Um, that, some of them, possibly. <laughs> and this right here is Toddy T, who is like the first... Do you know Toddy T at all? Mixed Bass with Spade, Toddy T. My pops put me up on game. Matter of fact, my Uncle Tony, R.I.P. Dig what I'm saying? <laughs> Yeah, what can you tell people about Toddy T? He's one of the first guys. First, this is one of the first, you know, I would say artists that really put it down for Compton. Toddy T. Then you heard about N.W.A. But this is one of the, this is legendary right here. You dig that? The Gangsta Boogie. You did your real homework. What is this? The King T. You got some OGs on your joint, man. You really be doing your research, bro. We are Kenneth Kamar. We got to do that. Representing Compton. King T. This is... My pops would enjoy that you showing this to me right here. King D. Feel the agony. Back up. Was. Snoop Doggy Dog, what can you tell the people about this VHS cassette right here? I was curious. Did you put this out? Oh, my God. This is what the fuck I've been trying to find. My Smoke Fest Volume 1. This is the first one I ever put out, cuz. Where did you find this? Look, this is the first one that I put out. This is my first movie that I directed, put up the money for, shot it. See what it say on the back? Writer, director, and executive producer, Snoop Doggy Dog. You don't even have a copy yourself? No, I don't. I did this with Donald, I did this with Donald Randall, who was Dolomite's Rudy Ray Moore's manager at the time when he was alive. Now, check out where I got this right there. You took the wrapping away. This is quite amazing. Look where it started. It started at here. 50 cents? It's at, no, it started at 50 Our records for fourteen ninety five, And it ended up at? 50 cent at Lee Lee's book. In it, Vancouver, went to 50 I thought it was anything. 50 cents for your actual VHS. That's dope. So would you like this too, Snoop Doggy Dog? I'll gladly give you a dollar for it. Wow, okay, we'll do that then. Compensated for your time and your troubles. I've been looking for this shit, homie, on some real shit. I've really been trying to find. This is my first one. I found uh, volume two. They got volume two. You can get that anywhere. This shit right here is rare. This is the one where I directed it. I shot it. I got in trouble behind this shit, too. There's some shit on there that's raw and uncut. And now it's back in your hands for nobody to see ever again. Right, Snoop? No, I'd bought also, the Watts Profits, too. I'm glad you enjoyed that. Now, that's heavy. Be on the look for, Now, that's going to be on my next album. You're going to hear some of that, so I'm going to have to give you a shout-out on my next album. So look on the credits on the back. A double shout-out to my nephew from Vancouver. You know what I'm saying? The Canuck, Mr. Nard, Stay Hard, Ward. Well, thanks so much, Snoop. Keep on rocking in the free world, and do 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 loot do 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 Right. Wayne, what type of food do you like? Pussy. Well, Katy Perry, it doesn't stop there. There's a bit of an illusion coming up here. Right now, there's a guy who's very punk pictured there. And I guess I was curious, Katy Perry. Punk gigs. Was one of the first gigs you ever saw the Mad Caddies? <gasps> yeah. How do you know that? Because you wear all plaid. The Mad Caddies in Santa Barbara? Uh, yes. What was that like at the living room or the coach house? One of those punk places. Yeah, I used to go to the coach house and the living room all the time. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what can you tell the people about the punk past, the early gigs, gigs at the coach house with Katy Perry that you checked out? Well, I was Katie Hudson at the time. There was no Katy Perry existence, although she was being formed in my womb. Um, just kidding. But uh, it was just, you know, a fun place that uh, it was kind of an alternative place that me and my friends would go to. And, you know, we were underage and we thought it was the coolest thing ever seeing people skank. Remember skanking? Yes, and then you got through the Brick Squad. How's this tour going for the breast? <laughs> hey, man, we love the breast, man. Little breast, small breast, big breast, fake breast, all that. I have a quote for you, Waka and Muda Kid. Here it is. She's a tiger-striped <coughs> pit bull. Rima Major. That's what we called Rima Major. A tiger stripe pit bull. Know, but you just fucked me up. Like, how did yo, this guy's really on it, man? Yo, Rima's a pit, man. She'll be back too tomorrow. She got sick as hell, man, from the road. Yeah, she's crazy. Yo, yo, like, she 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 remind me of Queen Latifah, MC Light, and like a just 
mixed in one. You know what I'm saying? Like she's just. And she's from Canada, Canadian. Yeah, she's sick, man. Yo, I swear to God, that girl is crazy. What did she told you guys about Canada? Has she told you anything about Canada, Toronto? It's real. It's real, motherfuckers. That's what she said. It's real, motherfuckers. Hey, got to tell the people with Alan too. I I like him. He's an awesome jazz artist. Fuck, this is random. How do you know this shit? Well, you're on Future. We have to know about on Future, don't we, Haji? Yeah. The Wolfgang's got to know. And continue on here. Another gift for you, Tyler. I'm about to pull my balls out. Everyone, look away. Tweeter. Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> I didn't hear she just said. Sweeter. That's cool, though. This nigga tight, nigga got money and bitches. Look at this nigga's shirt, nigga. Bow. Future winding up here. What's about the Soul Banana Crew? Who's the Soul Banana Crew? Oh, shit, nigga. That's from 10th, 11th grade. They would support us in the early, early, early days and shit. Damn, I ain't heard about that since I was 15 or 16. Fuck. You with the feds? What What happened there? It made it rain. <laughs> and if a girl come over and make a thunderstorm. Check out what they have, what the new pornographers have for sale or had a few years ago. Ah, uh, the, the classic rock Coke mirror. Yeah, that's nice. See, this is what I wanted mine to look like, but mine looks more like it's for like a 16-year-old's like locker, like for the inside of the, her locker. Here we have some more lyrics. Feek mina bolar, sleek ada ven. Oh, uh, is it get my boss licked by so we dash in a looking like cooking at it? Yes! Great. And okay, could you please explain the genesis of that line and how am I doing with my Swedish? You're doing very well. You're doing very well. I don't know. I just think uh, Zoe Deschanel is like a beautiful woman. So, yeah. Just wanted to give some props to Zoe. This is Young Lin. Yeah, this is Young Lin. I got money like... Obama. Internet. Explorer, boys. I love it that you mention Obama in a tune, and as a child, you used to wear like an Obama t-shirt. Oh man, you know too much. No, <laughs> you've seen it all. Young Lean, how do you stop people from crying at your gigs? I can't. It's impossible. But they are wearing bucket hats. They sure are. And you could turn the bucket hat upside down, and that'll catch the tears. That's true. <laughs> what do you see here? Uh... <laughs> I want to give you a gift that represents Vancouver, Canada. It is the Cheech and Chong record with the rolling paper still intact. Mostly when you find this record, there's no rolling paper. But I thought I'd bring this down because Tommy Chong is from Canada. So this is a gift from me to you, another gift. Thank you, man. And when you come to New York, I'm taking care of you. We're going to flush we're going to the whole house. We're getting you a rub and tug from the Asian, whatever you want. Turn up! This guy is crazy as fuck. He's got to be on Molly or some, uh, some powder or something. <laughs> Narwar is great, man. Shouts out to Narwar. <laughs> well, thanks for the support, Danny Brown. Keep on rocking in the free world and do do the loot do. Do do. Yeah.